Hi dear students, those first time came to Roots Academy channel, don't forget to subscribe this channel because you are going to get a lot of useful things for your future benefit. My one small question is, which of the following is true? See students, if you give correct answer for this, you will definitely have mistakes. Otherwise, see, if you give both correct means, you will have 100% correct mistakes. Otherwise, you have to first do both the mistakes, then move forward to advanced level. See, I don't near me my tapu button. You should have a big brain. I am not uh, uh, saying you are wrong, but you should have a big brain. But at the same time, you should have big things. So, can you say which of the following is true? One is true. Two is true. Are both are false? Think a while and give me answer. Before I am showing answer, pause the video and try to get correct answer. Dear students, if you don't have these type of basics means, don't miss to attend the classes which I am going to give in mathematics because these basics will make you a pause in any field you are going to, uh, you are aspiring, you want to achieve. Shall I give me, shall I give now correct answer? Last one second I am giving anyone. Good news is, both are true. How? And why? Pause the video and explain your answer in the comment box, my dear students. Shall I explain? Before you are going to learn this, you should know the basic meaning of freedom. The meaning of A greater than or equal to B means, what is this? First, let us know what is the meaning of this. A greater than or equal to B means, either A greater than, right? Or A equal to B is, that is the meaning, no? Have you got it? Either A greater than B or A equal to B. Which means, this is true only if any one of them any one of them is any one of them, that is, either A greater than B and A equal to B is correct. Understand? This is the fact which is true only when any of this one is correct. Let me put it in another way. This is also meaning is A greater than B means A is not less than B. Ulta way if you think. A is not less than B. That is A is not less than B. Are you getting? Now go on check with the giver answer. Any one of them should be true. This is the first point. You should understand before you are going to answer that. Note it somewhere, dear students. Have you got answer for this? 
Have you got correct answer for this? Can you look at now your question? What it says? What it says? Can you say it or not? Any one of them should be true now. Yes, three is greater than two. This is true. Or any one of them should be true. Five is equal to five. This is true. That's why these two are. These two are true. Students, if you like this answer, please tell this type of basics to all your friends who don't have basics. Let them learn the basics. And means brothers or sisters. So if anyone is there, my dear student, school basics will build the life like anything. So please don't forget to share this link with all your friends and let them know this beautiful basic concept. So I'm closing this with my dear beautiful students and if any one of you are looking for this new batch called Target 2022 which starts from 26th of this month. It starts from 26th of this month and the class timings will be morning 6, oh sorry, evening 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Two days maths, two days physics, two days chemistry and those who want to join in this batch further details you can say hi target 2022. To this number nine eight double six nine one five eight one four, we are going to give individual subject also math, physics, chemistry, or you can take the MPC together. If you have any doubt about this course and the free details at all, you can call to this number or else all the numbers that appear on the screen you can use and you can call to them, they will give you reply. Thank you, my dear students. Have a great day. Did you learn any point here? Can you put it in the chat box in one sentence, my dear students? Did you learn anything here? In today's class. Did you learn anything in today's class? Can you put one sentence to know whether I am useful for you or not? Am I giving the useful thing or not? Can you put it in one sentence? Am I giving useful things or not? Mr. Jain is as, Akshaya is as, Vardhan is as, Harshit is as, whatever the remaining. You are not learning anything from me. Thank you, dear students. Okay then, thank you. Bye bye. Take care. We will meet in tomorrow's class. We will learn some more exciting things. Tomorrow we are going to learn about very curvy method on its full applications. Thank you and love you, dear students. Bye bye. Take care. And please pass on this message about our target batch, which is going to start from. 26 to all your friends who are in the in the second era, who those who are in the long term, they will also get benefit because of this. Right? Thank you. Bye bye. Take care.